happy 1st of December. I had had some big plans for filming this properly with like a camera and everything. I've got the, the ring light up as you can probably tell because I'm like pale. But unfortunately my laptop is too old to handle it. So it's just like freeze frames. So we're having to use our phone, which is a bit sad, but yeah, I will just kind of set it up somewhere and record what I can because obviously, unfortunately the camera setup has not worked. But a few things to go over that I had recorded, which I now need to re-record because unfortunately the camera didn't work, is that first up, what was the first up? Hmm. Oh yeah. So first of all, this isn't actually, this isn't gonna be Vlogmas. Like it's not, it's not Vlogmas. I, I've tried to do Vlogmas before and I've just burnt myself out by about day 10 and I've kind of just fallen off the face of the earth afterwards. So this isn't gonna be a vlog Vlogmas, but this is gonna be kind of Christmas with Emma. I know, very original. And it's just gonna be kind of some fun Christmassy content. I think I'm gonna sit at my table. Um, fun Christmassy content that I'm gonna try and do throughout the month. Some of it will be like vlog style and some of it will be obviously gamers, gaming style because you know, that's what I normally do. So there's gonna be like a nice little mix of the content. Let me just turn my mulled wine off. The other thing is, this video is kind of gonna be a setting up my Christmas tree, getting all of that ready. It's not gonna be like my whole flat, but it is gonna be kind of my tree. And then I'll talk through what it is that I'm planning on doing with the rest of my decorations basically. Oh, this, this was the actual, actual first thing. This was the actual first thing that I forgot. So I'm currently kind of travel, time traveling. So this video will come out on the 1st of December, obviously, because I said 1st of December, but I will be at Comic-Con in Birmingham when this comes out. So I'm actually time traveling a little bit. It's not 1st of December for me right now. It's actually November, but it's fine. I love Christmas. I'm happy to do this a little bit early. And also I'd rather it be done for by the time I get back from Comic-Con, so. When I get back from kind of working away. I want it to kind of be done anyway. So I'm quite happy with it. Those are the kind of, those are the headliners. Now we can get into the content. The other thing was that last, was it last night? A few days ago, um, I said to my Twitch stream that I was gonna do a video or slash Twitch stream of um, pirating Christ piracy Christmas carols. So obviously playing Sea of Thieves and trying to do Christmas carols with the pirates. Um, and they said they would only do it if I dressed as Santa. So I was like, okay, that's fine. Or buy a Christmas jacket or a Santa jacket. Turns out they're really expensive <laughs> to get like a decent one to get. So it was like 80 pounds to buy a Santa suit. And I was like, do you know what? I've got red leggings. I can buy some eight pound material from Amazon. That's what I've gone for. I've now got an eight pound Christmas jacket that I've made myself. I'm actually really happy with it. I was up until about one o'clock in the morning last night. Yeah, it's actually turned out quite well. I'm really surprised at it. Just ignore the mess on the table right now, I'm everywhere, <laughs> because I tried like loads of different cameras to try and do this video and none of it was working. My laptop that I use is too old, so I just can't really use it. And my, my PC is cable tied in, so I can't really like bring my PC through to here. The only other option was to film snippets on the cameras for like, 12 minutes at a time or something, I think is the maximum. But I would have then had to work out what to do about the audio separately because like my phone's not brilliant. Like I'm just recording my phone right now. Like my phone's not brilliant, but at least it's kind of like, I can hold it quite close to my face um, and you should be able to hear me. Whereas with the cameras, they just pick up so much background noise. So I decided in the end, I was just gonna, just gonna do it on my phone, which was not quite what I was hoping for. It wasn't the quality I was hoping for, but one day my tech will work. I know I keep saying that for those of you that have been around for the last four and a half, five years. I know I keep saying it, but one day it will get better. And it's time for some mulled wine. My first one of the year. It's quite steamy. This is the pan that I cooked my pasta in that time where I burnt my pasta. Um, so that's why it's a bit gross. Yeah, this was the pasta burning pan. Oh yeah, look at that steam. Also, these are the boxes. So this is where all of my Christmas decorations live, basically. So I'm going to hopefully use this to turn my flat into a, a full on Christmas grotto. We'll see. <laughs> um, I probably need to tidy up some of this mess before I do any of that though, because it's just everywhere. It's just everywhere. I'm going to do that and then I'll come back 
and we'll talk about what we're going to do with all of this. Hello, I'm back with some ridiculous glasses, which again, if you've kind of followed me for a while, you know I have a large selection of. I've grown it this year. We have even more ridiculous accessories for Christmas. I think I bought like, I think it was like three pairs, but I think it came as like 10, 10 pairs of ridiculous glasses. First of things first, I'm going to go through some of what we've got in this box and unpack the tree. That's kind of the, those are the first agenda items and go through where I'm going to put them. So I've got like invisible command strip hooks around each of the windows. So you can't really see them the rest of the year, but it's good for things like this. So I made these last year with fabric from Liberties of London. Um, I've actually still got some left, so I might make even more of them, but they're like little tree shapes and little star shapes. And they've got like a little bit of stuffing in them. And they're quite good for ha kind of hanging over the windows where I don't want to put fairy lights or I haven't got a power outlet. So they kind of like fill that space, which is quite nice. So we've got those for the windows. I've got some little, these ones are little stars. They're not as good, but I might make a third strand because I've got three windows in here and only two strands. So I might make a third strand a third strand this year. I also have some little like Brussels sprouts, the party hats that I made last year. They're like little knitted, little, little knitted things. I've got some that go on door frames and I've got some that just kind of like sit on the bookshelf. It's just kind of like little ornaments, which are cute. Most of that seems to be tree decorations. Obviously I have stockings. What is Christmas without stockings? I also have these like Santa face things, which I put them up last year, but I think this year I'm gonna use them in my stream background and I'm gonna do maybe like like gift subs or something like their name goes on their faces. I feel like they didn't suit the vibe that I had in here last year. They're kind of like a little bit more kind of fun and my decorations, they are fun. I'm not, I'm not like a non-fun decorator, but they're not kind of, they're more, more serious fun. <laughs> Makes me sound so dull. It won't be, I promise. Stay watching if you're new here. Um, but yes, yeah, so we've got more Brussels sprouts. Most of it's lots of just tree decorations in this box, but I do have these, which I think are so nice. I'm so glad that we found some last year. They're like teardrops. Yeah, that's that. And then most of the rest of this, like I say, is tree decorations. These are some of the baubles I've got, which are pretty. Also like last year, what we did was we went and like foraged loads of like twigs and stuff, but I probably won't do that until we actually get into December because they'll die. But we just kind of went and chopped back, Lord, like chopped some like hedge stuff and had them on the surfaces so like in front of the tv we had like a kind of little display and then put pine cones and stuff in it so that's where the pine cones will probably end up they'll probably end up kind of amongst foliage dotted around the flat that worked really nicely last year but it is one of those things like we had a real tree last year so we couldn't get that until the first week of december just because obviously otherwise they don't stay as fresh that was that's the only downside obviously to getting fresh th well not the only downside but a downside to getting fresh things also last year like I said, we had a real tree. So this is my first year living here where I haven't had a real tree, but I'm also not here for like the first few days of December because I'm at Comic-Con. I'm not here for like the week before Christmas as well. So it didn't seem right to take a tree from the ground when we weren't really gonna be able to enjoy it properly. So we've gone, that's why we've got a fake tree this year. I'd say it's more sustainable, but actually it's quite heavy plastic. Over time it'll be more sustainable, I guess. Of course, we have to have the Christmas hats. Where are they? My Christmas hats are like famed almost. We have. <laughs> I have four like ridiculous Christmas hats. I think I actually bought them for my streams like maybe four years ago. And they're just still going. They're still with us. There's um, Santa's pants. There's the tree. There's like an elfy kind of one. And then just the normal one. But the, these are the three like ridiculous. Like these two are the most ridiculous ones. And they're my favorite. I love them. So they come out every year. Which one should we go for today? I feel like if we're being Santa today, we probably need to wear a Santa hat. Just because I am wearing the Santa coat, so probably need to wear that. And then also at Costco last year, I bought these. And these are like to live on the shelf, which I really like, but I may use them on my, on my stream this year because they, they do sit quite nicely because obviously they've got like the long, the long legs. So I might use them on my stream this year, but we'll see. I might just have to buy like a whole bunch of stuff for stream. I didn't have a kind of heavy, like streamy background last year. I only had like a little tree, um, which I am gonna put up in there, but I didn't have as much space to kind of display things as I do this year. We'll see how much, I'll do this decoration and then I'll see how much I've got left over. And if I've got stuff left over, I'll use it in my stream background, but otherwise I'll go and buy some new bits. And then I also have, have lots of little gonks. <laughs> I had to get some of those last year. Most of this stuff, by the way, is stuff that I literally collected last year 
because that that was the first time I'd lived away from home. Well, it wasn't the first time I'd lived away from home, but it was the first time I had my own home for Christmas. The rest of the time it was like uni or living with family or living with Ross's parents or whatever. So a lot of this stuff was got last year and we actually did pretty well. Must when I look at this stuff, I'm like, wow, that must have cost us a lot of money. <laughs> and we also made these like cute little gongs as well, which were very adorable. They're just like little pom-poms. They're very cute. If anyone wants me to do a video about how we made those, please let me know. They're super easy to make and you don't need much material. Right, the rest of this stuff is pretty dull, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm gonna leave this here for now. We're gonna get the tree out. I just hope that the lights aren't disappointing because I did open the box up and the um, like snow was a little bit disappointing, so. Moment of truth. <gasps> I don't know how I managed that. It definitely doesn't have the same wow factor as a real tree. Overall, it'll be cheaper. Plus, it means that you know we've always got a tree, and it is tall. Like it is tall. It's just not very bushy, and like these little snowy bits are gonna be really annoying. Like the floor right now is covered. Um, so that's gonna be a little bit of a pain. <laughs> I think my goal for 2024, based on this experience, because this is really fun. Like I'm really enjoying like this vlog style of style of thing. I have got Christmas music on now, so hopefully I'll get copyright right. Um, but yeah, I'm really enjoying this like this vlog style. But it definitely would be easier with a proper camera, and I am a little bit worried about the microphone quality. So yeah, goal for 2024 is actual vlogging camera, and maybe buy a new a new real tree again. <laughs> Um, I mean, it, it, does look, it does look okay. I think it like, hopefully from a distance, it'll give the overall effect. But it's, it's weird, like they've done, there's like two types of tree strand on there. So there's one that looks very, very plasticky and there's one that looks very real and there's like two different kinds. And I guess like the reason, so we, I think it was like 80 to 90 pounds for this tree. So I guess the reason they managed to make it affordable is because you have got that mix of the two rather than it all being the one that looks like really real. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why they've done the two. I'll, sh I'll in fact, I'll take my camera off here and I'll show you so you can see. So you can see what I mean. Here, for example, right? So you've got this bit that looks like a bit more real next to this that just looks like really fake. So it's really strange that they've done the two literally on the same strand. Like, look at the state of this floor. Look at <laughs> so, so much stuff on it. Also, I have put it kind of slightly against the window just because there is like this plasticky kind of thing in the middle of the window. So I have put it like right up against, which means that there will be kind of gaps probably at the back. But I don't, I'm not too, that should be fine. It should be fine. Uh, it just needs obviously like padding out a lot in the front so you can't tell but it just means that we still get some of the room so if i if we have it too close to here we can't like this is a sofa bed we can't pull the sofa bed out so it has to sit a little bit further back um i've just put some coasters <laughs> underneath the front bits but at least it means we get to enjoy christmas for longer as well because obviously this is i am actually putting this up in november like this is is it's November right now. <laughs> the other thing that we did last year, which I do want to do this year, but maybe not as much. Um, so yeah, last year we did like a full window display. So across like all of the windows, we had drawings in like chalk pen. But it got to, I think, maybe March before I finished the last window because it was just so much effort to try and get them off. So I think we will do the window display again, but we won't do it as intense. We're going to do kind of like half a window display rather than a full display this time. I think I'll do all of the windows again because it was nice having it on all of them, but I'll just do less on each window. So it's not as much work to get it all off again. I'm actually going out for dinner in an hour, so I need to, I need to hurry.
Honestly, the most beautiful thing you've ever seen. Last year, we put like ribbon around the tree. I went to Costco and bought like a massive thing of ribbon to put around people's Christmas presents. And then Ross was like, oh, why don't we just buy like this massive, because I was going to get like these little strips. And he was like, why don't we buy this massive one? And then we can put it around the tree and we can just reuse it every year. And it was actually really, really pretty. So I'm going to add it again this year. Then I'm going to do the teardrops. And then I'm kind of done. Like I've got lots of little ones, which I will put on. But yeah, after that, we're pretty much done with the tree, which is actually, I mean, I'm going out at half past, or I'm meeting people for dinner at half past six. It's now five to six. So I've actually made pretty good time because I only started after work. So not bad, not bad timing. And now for the best bit, putting the ice cool things on. And here is the finished thing. I've actually, it's actually the next day because I had to go for dinner. Um, so I have moved things around a little bit, <laughs> quite a lot actually, and added an extra string of lights, which I actually bought last night after dinner. It, you can see a little bit through it, which is a bit of a shame, but I think all in all, I'm pretty happy. I think it looks really cute. The benefit of having a fake tree is that I can actually twist stuff or move branches where I need them, which is quite nice. Whereas obviously with a real tree, you don't have that option. There is benefit, <laughs> but yeah, I'm really happy with it. I think it looks really cute. And then I have kind of decorated the shelves and there's lights now in the hallway. There's just like little bits and pieces dotted around. All in all, happy. I think it's come together really nicely. I'm about to go live. So I'm, like I say, it's a, fresh, it's, it's a different day. Today's a different day. Yeah, I'm really happy with it. I have done a lot of kind of like tidying up just because it wasn't absolute pixie before, but I'm happy with my little tree. And I have also done this light box, which says, not long till Christmas, which is cute. Uh, there are a few presents under the tree. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be honest with you. Most of them are props, because I just think trees look really sad when there's nothing underneath them. I think Christmas trees just look really depressing when they are literally just a tree with nothing underneath them. However, I have already started my Christmas shopping. So if those were here already, they would be under the tree. But as they're not, I've put placeholder gifts <laughs> so that it just looks a little bit less sad. Although maybe I'm the sad one for putting fake presents into the tree, but they will be replaced with real presents. Like I am buying real presents and um, I might receive real presents, who knows? Also, I hope you like my top. I have three moods. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I know it's completely different to what I normally do. And obviously it's probably not the best quality because I am just like recording my phone, which I really didn't want to happen, but I am going to save next year and buy a proper camera. If this is the style of video you actually like me doing, if it's not, I probably won't bother, but if it is actually something you'd want more, then I would I would happily do it. Because I always decorate as well for like Halloween, Christmas, Easter, autumnal vibes. Like I do a lot of decorating anyway. So like if that's something you want to see, I'm happy to do more of it. Um, my priority is replacing my PC though. So I need to prioritise that and that's going to cost a lot more. Once I've done that, I will start saving for a new camera if that's content you want from me. But either way, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Happy 1st of December once again, and I will see you in the next one. The next video is going to be some Christmas crafting, which I was going to try and do beforehand, but I didn't get around to it. Basically, last year from our real tree, I kept some twigs. I'm going to turn them into like little, almost kind of like this actually, um, little like stars and Christmas trees like this with some lights wound around them. So that's going to be the next video. And during that, I'm going to do like a QA. and a So I'm going to ask my Discord like if there's any christmas related q a stuff they would want me to do so i'm gonna ask that in discord um and then answer those questions whilst i do some christmas crafting so i'll see you there